Newton's second law of motion. Let's learn about Newton's second law of motion. There is an equation that goes along with this law. This equation states that force equals mass times acceleration. That means the mass of an object and the force pushing it determine how fast that object will move. Let's take another look at Newton's equation so we can break it down. The F in the equation stands for force. Have you ever thrown a football, pushed a swing, pulled a wagon, squeezed a sponge, or twisted the cap off a soda bottle? If you've done any of these things, then you have applied force to an object. Pushing, pulling, twisting, and squeezing are all ways to apply force to something. Sometimes people apply force to things. And other times, different objects apply force to each other. But whenever a force is applied, there are always two things interacting. Now let's define the word mass in Newton's equation. Mass is the amount of matter or stuff inside everything, even us. All objects are made up of different amounts of matter. That means their mass is different too. For example, an elephant has way more mass than a cricket. On the other hand, a large balloon has much less mass than a small rock. Even though the balloon is a lot bigger than the rock, the rock has more mass because it is made up of more matter. Here's another example. A softball is about the same size as a cannonball, but the softball is lighter or has less mass than the cannonball. That's because the matter or stuff inside each ball is different and what they are made up of affects how much mass they have. A cannonball is made from lead, which has a lot of mass while a softball is made from cork, which has a lot less mass than lead. See if you can answer these questions. Which has more mass, a golf ball or a ping pong ball? Did you say golf ball? You're right. How about a bowling ball or a basketball? If you said bowling ball, you're right again. Let's move on to the last part of Newton's equation. Acceleration. Acceleration means a change in speed or direction. If you step on the gas pedal of a car, it moves. When you pedal a bike, it does the same thing. If you go off a ramp on your skateboard, you accelerate. Now that you know the definitions of force, mass, and acceleration, Let's see how these things work together in Newton's second law of motion. Take a look at this baseball pitcher. He can throw a baseball very fast. But if that same pitcher was given a cannonball to throw, do you think he'd be able to throw it as fast or as far as the baseball? The answer is no. Do you know why? If you said it's because the cannonball has a lot more mass than the baseball, you're absolutely right. But it also has to do with force. Because the cannonball has more mass, it requires a lot more force to make it move or accelerate like the force from a cannon. One more thing that is important to know about forces, they are either balanced or unbalanced. Look at these kids playing tug of war. Did you notice how neither side is moving even though all the kids are pulling very hard? That's because the forces are balanced. That means that the forces on both sides of the rope equal each other. So neither side accelerates or moves. But let's see what happens if we put more mass on one of the sides. What do you think will happen now? The forces are now unbalanced. And because they are unbalanced, the side with more force is causing the rope to move or accelerate in that direction. 
Newton's second law is all around us. Like in our example of the game of tug of war, throwing a baseball or a cannonball, and pulling a wagon with different amounts of mass. Take a look around and see if you can find any other examples of Newton's second law. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.